Hello and welcome to a Trollmaster tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about the AquaX. The AquaX is an irrigation and feeding system that has two main functions, irrigation schedule control and 24-7 nutrient monitoring. It allows a large quantity of up to 30 irrigation times or channels for solenoid and pump control. And each of the 30 devices will have their own timer settings, which makes the AquaX a powerful and flexible control system for irrigation. The system is designed to be modular, meaning each user can customize their own system to suit their needs, as well as automate and monitor the irrigation systems effortlessly. The NFS1 main controller comes with a 12 volt power adapter and one of Trollmaster's WD1 water detector for leak detection and or water confirmation. You can monitor the pH, EC, and temperature of the feeding solution, and also the water content of the growing medium with the AquaX controller and some optional sensors. The system allows you to control irrigation cycles for either a stock or nutrient tank, or connect it in line with the Dosatron nutrient dosing system. Once everything is connected, you can easily check variables such as the EC, the temperature, or the pH of your feeding solution as well as the percentage of the moisture level, the growing medium, all on the LCD display screen. Let's see how that works. The six buttons over here on the panel allow you to change set points for your timer in settings and access different functions on the controller. Click right once to access the alarm messages page. Here you can set the schedule for your irrigation devices. You can access the alarm setting page to set your alarms. and you can access the system setting page to configure some basic settings. You can also monitor nutrient variables and remotely change settings by using our free smartphone app, TN+. It offers remote monitoring, settings and receives pushed alert notifications, so you'll have better control of your feeding schedule anytime anywhere. Not only does the app allow monitoring, but it also logs all the historical data of the nutrients, and you can check real-time watering schedule on your phone. With the visualized data provided on the app, you can easily adjust your feeding solutions pH and EC and fine-tune your irrigation schedules that are best for your specific cultivars. To learn more about how to add a controller to your app, you can go check out our QR code tutorial. There's a 110 volt and 24 volt control port at the bottom of the controller to connect the irrigation device modules and control devices like pumps and solenoids. The OA6 110 control board is designed to control small 110 volt pumps or solenoid valves and it has six separate 120 volt outlets. Each device connected must be 1.5 amps or less and each of the six outputs will have separate timers to control them. Simply add the devices to the 110 volt control board that's the OE6110, and connect the sensor board to the controller via the 110 volt control port located on the controller here. For 120 volt devices that are more than 1.5 amps but are less than 10 amps, you can use the DSP1 control module. Trollmaster also offers a 10 amp 240 volt version of the DSP called the DSP2 that can also be used when connected to the 110 volt RJ12 port on the controller. The OA624 control board is designed to control multiple 24 volt AC solenoid valves and provides an easy and efficient method to control up to six solenoid valves, each with individual timer settings. Do note that the solenoids must have a holding current below 0.2 amps. The AquaX to provide an automatic pump link between the DS module and the OA624 board. So when any of the 24 volt AC irrigation zones are activated on the OA624, the DSP module will automatically turn on the pump. Up to five control boards in a combination of OA624, OA610 and DSP can be connected to a single AquaX, providing a maximum of 30 individually controlled outputs to control your valves and pumps. Keep in mind that you should only connect the 24 volt control board to the 24 volt port and the 110 volt control board to the 110 volt port, or else the controller won't be able to recognize the devices. The exception to that rule is when a DSP module is connected to an OA624 in order to utilize the master pump link function. 
In that case, the DSP module won't be counted as one of the five modules that can be connected to the AquaX. There are two ways you can set your watering schedule, by schedule or by recycling. If you choose the by schedule option, you can set 12 individual customizable on or off timer schedules for each 24 hour day. Each output can have different time presets for on and off times based on a 24 hour time clock with individual start times. The other timer setting option is to use it as a repeat or recycling timer. When used in recycle mode, you will select the start time and also the duration for the on and off cycles, as well as select how many cycles you want it to run. The on timers can be set from 100 minutes with precision down to one second. And the off timer up to 99 hours. We have another video about the differences between the two settings and how to set the schedule on board. You can find out more about it there. There are two sensors for nutrient solution monitoring. One is a pH sensor called the PPH sensor, and another one is an ECN temperature sensor called the PCT sensor. Now to connect your sensors to the AquaX, you'll need an AMP2 sensor board. Just connect the sensor board to the controller through the sensor port right here and link the sensors to it. Each AMP2 sensor board can connect to one PPH and one PCT sensor and each controller allows one sensor board. The monitoring function of the PPH and PCT sensors allow 24-7 real-time access of the water temperature, pH and EC by using the Trollmaster TM Plus app. You can also set the minimum and maximum alarm limit set points of the AquaX and receive notifications through the app if the temperature, pH or EC is outside of your allowable setting range. We have a PPH and PCT 1 and 2 for users with different setups. Go for the PCT and PPH 1 if you're using a water tank. Otherwise, if you're looking for commercially rated ones with threaded 3 quarter inch molded ends, Choose the PCT and PPH2, which are designed to be used for both in line with existing PVC pipings and water tanks. The WCS1 is compatible with all types of grow medium, including rock wool, coir, perlite, and soil. Simply insert the sensor into the medium, and it'll start to measure and record the detected water content within the medium. You'll then see the detected moisture level appear on the LCD screens of both the sensor and the controller. Each AquaX controller can have up to eight WCS1 sensors connected. If multiple WCS1 sensors are connected to a single AquaX controller, the displayed value you see on the controller screen and on the app will be an average of all the measurements from all of the sensors. Keep in mind that the pH, EC, and water content percentage are all values that depend on your calibration results to define. So for example, when we look at water content percentage, you need to define what's zero and what's 100%. And always remember to calibrate your sensors before use. You can learn more about calibration in our other videos. Once your AquaX is connected to the internet and registered to your app, you'll be able to view graphs displaying the watering dry down time and changes of the pH and EC value of your nutrient solution over time. You can then use that information as a reference to fine tune your irrigation timer settings and to adjust the pH and EC levels of your stock nutrient water. The WD1 water detector that comes with the AquaX can be used for two separate functions, water leak detection and irrigation confirmation. When the WD-1 is assigned to be used as a water leak detector, you can mount the small sensor at floor level or anywhere you'd like to look out for spills or water leaks. And if a water leak is detected, the AquaX will send an alert message to the TM Plus app and notify you of a potential water leak. The other use for the WD-1 is to set it as a water verification monitor. 
it'll confirm that devices such as solenoids and pumps connected to the irrigation zone are working each time they're activated by the timer schedule. Now, if you're using it this way, the best position to place the water sensor would be where water runoff accumulates or where water is being introduced to the grow media. Remember, water must come into contact with the water sensor during each irrigation cycle. You can add up to 25 water detectors to an AquaX system. The sensor board, control boards and the sensors all come with a standard set of cables and a Y-splitter to connect the unit to the AquaX system. But if you need any extra cables to customize the length for a more flexible and tidy installation, we have the ECS4 16-foot extension cable for the AMP2 sensor board and an ECS6 for the WCS1 water content sensors. The ECS1 extension cable set is also available separately and comes with a 4 and 16 foot cable and an additional Y splitter. Our plug and play design also simplifies the installation process by allowing the sensors and modules to be daisy chained together. This ensures a flexible installation and the potential of future system expansion. To make your installation even easier and more professional, you can also use our 8 port splitter hub, the SPH1. Instead of using the Y splitters, or you can combine them both and use them together. Trollmaster makes it easy for each installation to be customized and neat.